Hello adventurers, it's that time again to turn that frown upside down because we're about to kick it here. The Rex Razor Show. I'm Rex and we are currently a warlock and we're about to do a dungeon and a skirmish. Here we go first. Let's do a quick invocation. Always remember your invocations. Go to the queue and see if we have a healer dungeon. We do, but we're not a healer yet. So let's go change into healer attire. Go to Q. They're looking for a healer. Okay, we are a healer. We accept. Let's get our bags from the inventory. Oh, we couldn't even do that. How quick the dungeon came up. Hey, this is awesome. For a while, their healer dungeons weren't coming up quick, but they're coming up really fast yesterday and today. Watch out for glowing areas on the ground when in combat. The red area means an enemy is using a powerful strike. Hey, look, it's Valindra Shadow Mantle. <laughs> Looks like she's up to her old tricks again. Let's see if how much fun we're gonna have in this dungeon. Alright, the adventures approach. We got a dread protector. Charge up our Avenus trinket. Alright, and that little mob is clear the adventurers proceed up the stairs and over to magical zelda map that's what i call it anyways see what i mean magical zelda at a map all right let's go ahead and skip that and we always go to the circles for their uh campfires and there's one right here at the beginning of linda's tower to the right that I think a lot of players miss, but we're not going to miss it. We're on it. Here we go. Let's see if we can lead a few of them over here. Nobody, nobody decided to come here. Let's engage. Woo! Pillar of power. Let's do some more encounter the triangle I think I want to start a warlock club here we go do you see the razor the razor used some roots some powerful roots somebody has them as their companion there it is, there it is again, right there. It's like Groot, Groot, Groot. All right, let's go ahead and do some healing. That's what we are, we're a healer. There are more dread protectors here all over the place. Look, the team is split up. We have apparently Windscar, let's see who that is. That's Paladin. It's very, uh, very tough, is not worried about getting hurt. Let me, let me go after them and mark them, because they're losing health. Let's go ahead and kill them up. There we go. They seem to think that they can do everything by themselves. That's not the Neverwinter spirit. This is a co-op. we got to co-op it. But anyways, there are, there are a tank. we got to possibly keep up for their shenanigans. They're on a bear. Look at that. Let's go ahead and do some... Jelly defrosting. Get out of that red area, because the red area means an enemy is using a powerful strike. Yeah, see? Yeah, he's going really fast. Well, let's go ahead and try to keep up. We're going to worry only about the uh, pallet in here. They're losing a lot of health. We're going to have to heal them up right now. Like that. There we go. All right, so it looks like the rest of the team isn't really needing any health. And since the Paladin is really who we care about having some health, let's go ahead. Not the Paladin, the tank, but it happens to be a Paladin right now. All right, let's curse this thing. There we go. Because the Paladin tank is doing no damage on it, even though they want to. They obviously want to, but they're not. 
maybe it's just their strategy to try to get aggro, but the rest of the team is picking up their own aggro, from what I can tell. All right, everything looks good right here. Well, we got this one Legion Devolution that we need to take care of. Pillar of Power there. Looks like the Razor was engulfed in the Pillar of Power. We have one more portal. Portal is down. Paladin is still there. Hey, why don't you guys catch up? <laughs> why don't you guys catch up? <laughs> He's not concerned about taking him down. He's just concerned about being way up in front. All right, let's go ahead and grab all these things and charge up our daily and join our party. Yeah, the Paladin's really going up front. All right, the whole group is together right now, though. There's still a pillar of power right here in the middle of the group. Colin Pegasus for the assist. Colin the Hawk for the assist. Heal the paladin over there. Alright, the paladin is healed up. The rest of the people are just gonna have to heal up as we go. Okay, look at this. We got Sasquatch is on the ground. <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> Love it. Alright, let's pick up all the gold because this is a no gold left behind situation. Alright. Wow, look at the look at the tank way up here. I don't know. I feel that that might get them in trouble. That's okay. This is within this tower. We can do this. Woo! Look at all the crits. Even though we are a healer, creating a lot of DPS here. All right, we have cleared this mob and okay only Sasquatch knows that it's very important to go to the circle and let's grab that but Sasquatch decided to go and then turn back very important to go to the circle to get plus one to every one of your ability scores that's a number one foundational rule here in Neverwinter and D&D in general you don't want to be losing out any points to your abilities 15 minutes that's how long they last when you go through one of those circles plus one to every ability score something you don't want to miss it's as critical as making sure you don't get hit by the red although if you're a tank it's a different story you can hit get hit by the red sometimes you kind of want to do that to keep the attention on you here we go. Let's do some curse in that general direction. There we got curse. And some of these dread protectors. All right. This adventuring group is kicking it. Let's go. Oh, I see some gold. There we go. Everybody went to the campfire that time. Shatter spine. All right, this is an opportunity for the tank to do some tanking. In this case, a paladin. Let's go join. We have entered the arena. Let's charge up our daily. Shatter Spine is at it. It's starting to take a little bit of damage. Let's go do a pillar of power right in the middle. Everybody's looking good in health. Shatter Spine is down one tenth and a half. Do some encounter and run around. In a minute we'll get, oh, there they come. Some enemies are spawning in. No, that wasn't them. That was actually somebody's um, barrage weapon. All right, here we go. Put our power right in the middle. That's Cursed Shadow Spine. Shatter Spine is cursed. Charge up our daily. Can't do it right now. Destroy you. These are what? The Dread Protectors, right? Yeah, Dread Protectors. They talk a big talk. 
call in Pegasus for the assist. And call in the Hawk for another assist. All right. Sasquatch is the one using the Mirage weapon. Go ahead and charge up our daily. Cashbine is down less than half of his health now. He's doing another pillar of power right here in the middle. For the DPSers. What do we got? We got a wizard, a warlock, a rogue. So that rogue is usually up close now. And a paladin. So a paladin and a rogue for sure are up close. So that pillar of power right on Satisfying really helps for them. Here we go, another mob. Let's go ahead and curse Shattershmine. Maximize its damage. Charge up the daily in 20 seconds and do another pillar of power right here close by. For the melee of the group. We need to increase that melee damage. Alright, let's go ahead and call in Pegasus for the assist. Call in the Hawk for the assist. And look at this. Look at this. Chatter Spine is almost down. Venturing is really, really burning it up right now. All right, Shatter Spine is gone. We got some minions though. Got some minions. Skeletal somethings or the other. Here we go to the next section. All right, this is opening the door. Gaps. Red hounds here. Yes, we do. Red hounds. Put her power way back here, just for me and the huntress. I wonder if these things increase the companions. Probably not. I'm gonna guess. I hear some more red protectors. Iron Gollum. Hey, it's Rex Any Razor brokers. letting you know that you're got all kinds of gamer happy. NPCs here. Giving us a hard time. We're about to face Valindra. There you go, that curse. Got that wizard. I think it was an invoker. Alright. More gold on the ground. Got it all. We're headed to see. Lindra and her tower. Charge up the daily in four seconds. There are several different types of consumables you can purchase. And right now, oh, healing fire plus one to each ability score for 15 minutes. Don't forget to do that. Charge up the daily. Here we go. Valindra's waiting for us. And we are ready for Valindra. Except Sasquatch is doing some configuration changes. Paladin is maybe a little irritated by it. Since, oh no, they went outside. They're doing some configuration, I think. I think that's what's going on. Not quite sure, but we're ready for Valinda right here. 40 seconds till we can recharge our daily. Right. Josh is squashish. Oh, maybe they're taking a break, you know? Could be a bio break, could be many things. Here comes Sasha Squash. All right. Let's go. Let's go, what do we got? We got the Huntress. Huntress is with us. And we got a new sprite that we're gonna equip soon. We got the sprite as a drop yesterday, and as you guys may know, sprite was found in a non-scientific test of all my companions to be the most powerful DPSer amongst all my companions. So, and that's with the Cleric, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the Warlock, because it's probably like the same thing. Call in Pegasus for the assist. Do a round of encounters here. Round and round we go. Where we stop, it's gonna be after six seconds and when the encounter is complete. The encounter power, that is. Charge up our daily. Oh, she's doing her thing. Let's move over to the far end of the arena and run around like a chicken with two feet. All right, we're gonna just sit here on either side of the line. Either side of the line. Uh oh, 
Purple people eaters coming at us. More way. Oh, and from that too. Purple people eaters, you always gotta watch out for them. They'll get the best of you. As long as you don't move around, usually those purple people eaters, they won't even see that you're there. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, she's back. We're doing a quick invocation. I'm gonna do a pillar of power right on her. Boom, pillar of power, move away from the red. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, keep your seatbelts on at all times while in Verlinder's tower. Hands and feet inside the vehicle. These are professionals. Both Melindra and the adventuring group. Putting on a show. Looks fun. But anybody can get hurt during the show, so let's make sure we don't have that happen by keeping ourselves safe inside the vehicle at all times. All right, let's go ahead and curse for Lindor right now. What happened? What happened with the curse? There we go, now it came out. Charge up our daily. Let's do a hawk and do a Pegasus attack. There we go. Everybody likes that. Let's do a pillar of power right here for the melee of the group. Woo, encounter power. Oh, she's calling out more minions. You don't want to get overwhelmed by those minions. Let's keep on, keep on hitting Valindra as much as we can. Pillar of power right on her. Charge up the daily in 26 seconds. Oh, minions. They are out. Looks like uh, some of the adventurers might have actually stopped some of the minions from coming out. By Sometimes we don't do that anymore, but she takes care of the minions now. When she does this attack, all her minions go away. Because it defeats her minions too. Let's see, I think we got some purple people eaters that are not going to stop coming after us. I have to some evasive action right now. All right, we got hurt a little bit by those purple people eaters. They're coming at us like nonstop. See if we can, there we go, we're in a safe area. Oh, there's one coming from far away. That's okay. There it comes. Okay, we wanna make sure we're not on those red spots when the electricity passes by. That's a sure defeat right there. Uh oh, right there, this one got hit. We're on the purple people eater. Let's see if they can get away. We have no ability to do a heal of that one just like that. Oh no, we're going down. Are we going down? No, we made it. We made it. Valindra's back. Oh, that, that was my huntress on the ground. Let's do a quick pillar of power right there. Let's get into the power pillar of power to get more DPS in. We call in Pegasus. We call in the Hawk. Charge up our daily. Counter powers. Round and round we go, not stepping in the red. Let's go ahead and do a curse on Valindra. Woo! Alright. Valindra's going down now. I can feel it. I can feel it in the air. Valindra doesn't have much to go. There you go. And we, adventurers, have once again triumphed over Valindra's antics. Valindra is now being taken backstage for some refreshments. She is tired from being defeated. Valindra's phylactery? <laughs> phylactery. All right, here we go. Let's see if there's something in this little ash pile somewhere. Where's the ash pile? I don't see it. Oh, there's an ash pile. Nothing here. Let's go ahead and thank our group for their valiant efforts. 
Good job, adventurers. Yay, Sasquatch. I agree. I agree. Claim rewards. 5,494 astral diamonds from that little encounter. Valindra's Tower. Let's go and see if we have a Valindra's Tower. I think we do. I think every time I doubt that we do, but Dread Ring. Valindra's Tower, we do. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we should have one in five seconds. Here comes the key. Three, two, one. All right, let's see what treasures we get out of this. 6,714 and a very coveted shards of greater empowerment. Let's take that. All right, let's go ahead and refine what we got so far. Oh, Ideal. and pick up our VIP keys. VIP keys. Hey, right. hey, how are you doing, AD? Woo! Um, okay, so we are going to clear out some of that inventory so we can pick up our keys because we are stacked right now. 100% convert to refinement. 100% convert to insignia powder. 100% convert Ideal. to refinement. Said. Convert to refinement. Oh, I got a shard of greater empowerment. Convert to refinement. Shh. Yeah. Shards of greater empowerment, very important to upgrading the mounts. Uh, convert to refinement points. Convert refinement points. Open up these bags. Yeah, we just have a ton of bags in here. We got to get opened up. Um, let's see what's this. Limited time. Said. Convert to refinement points. I, I made two zero zero K today and bought something smiling face with sunglasses. Oh man, good for you. Two hundred K. That's kicking it for sure. Wow, congratulations. All right, so let's see what we got. We gotta open up our inventory again so we can get those VIP bags that we can well, oh overflow bag. That's the issue right there. What is going up with the overflow bag? Let's go ahead and put that there and open up. All right, now we can convert this to refinement points and this to refinement points. And what's this? Any bag discard right now. And okay, now we can get our bags, right? Deal. There Set. we go. Yes, yes, sir. Sold, sold these guild influence thingies. Nice. Nice. Sold them up. Um, inventory to the right open up these bags all right very good now we have space now we can refine what we got wow look at this this one dungeon gave us 62,459 astro diamonds by itself so if we get 20 out of the skirmish we're doing good we should pass 80,000 with the warlock Companions are extremely valuable to an adventurer's success. We find more companions at Adventurer's Guild. Rare drops. If you're having trouble finding a certain window, try looking in the main menu. Main me As you grow more powerful, you will unlock powers and feats. To change which powers you can use, go to the main menu and select the powers Ideal. window. Said. All right. BRB. See you when you're back. What else do we got here? You may find dye bottles or packs in your travels. To use them, select the dye item in your inventory to add it to your color library. All right. Color library with the cleric. I have plenty colors. I have to check what I got with the warlock because I do want to do a change of wardrobe now. If your inventory starts to fill up, you should visit a vendor and sell some items. If you come across anything particularly valuable, though, you may wish to use the auction house in Protector's Enclave or in your main menu. Let's go ahead and change into DPS. Q. I can barely tell it to because the only thing difference I have between those two is a gr light, like a green color and a, and a black color. So I have to do something to the outfit to make them more distinguishable. All right, look at trick or treat right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Continue. We got another bag to fill our inventory. Oh, another trick or treat right here. Oh, and we got the skirmish popping. Go ahead. And accept that skirmish. 44 seconds left. It says waiting for all the other adventurers to also accept. Continue with that. 
more bags of illusion. Do we have something complete? We can't tell if we have something complete because we are being swept into the skirmish at this very moment. It's an epic Isle of Turin. Power up yourself and your companion by refining enchantments and artifacts. Mounts are fast ways to get around the zone. Check out the latest available mounts at Sean Ducal Stables in Protector's Enclave. Live long and prosper! Alright, here we go. The adventurers have already started. We are the last one in. Let's charge up our daily and charge up our Avenus Trinket. Go ahead and... They got that golem before I got there too. Let's pick up the gold for the group. We're the gold retriever. Here we go. We have a rage drake. Rage drake just... Spring loaded at me. Alright, we're done here. Let's go to the next area. Through these doors. We have a golem, red one, golem of iron. Another one went down right there. Let's aggro this group. The part of this adventuring team is totally on it. Let's grab all this gold, some of it floating in the air magically. This is one hectic skirmish. Things melting before me, before I could even get there. Red Iron Golems, two of them. One which just went down. Let's go do some encounter power right here. Excellent. Oh, let's get some of this gold. Hey, adventurers, we gotta get gold. Let's go. Alright, we have a barbarian, a fighter, a... A uh, cleric and a wizard. We have an ambush from the right. What is going on with this ambush? We've got them stuck right here in this corner, right by the rock. They did not expect that from these adventurers. Hey, it's Rex Razor reminding you. They need you to go back and study this gamer their adventuring tactics a little bit more. They don't want to get caught in between the rock. And the adventurers like that next time. Oh, and they're coming from the right side again. This time they came in with some archers. Let's go ahead and move away from the aiming of the archer. One of the only... Um, one of the only attacks from NPCs that looks a little different. Rather than a red thing on the ground, it looks like some sort of air-based line for the archers. I see some gold. Can't help myself. I gotta grab the gold. Alright. Let's go ahead and encounter all of these minions. Green Drake. No, it's a green drag dragon fang. It's a green dragon fang. And the green dragon fang is done. But we're not done picking up gold. Alright, what else we got? We got flame spikers. These flame spikers remind me of uh, Dead Space. If you ever played Dead Space, you gotta admit, they look like those enemies. It's another red iron golem. Another two of them, actually. Let's aim at this one here. And it's done. Uh, we have a situation. Two red iron golems have been defeated. Please somebody pick them up and take them backstage for some refreshments and treats. Oh, and another red iron golem has all of a sudden appeared in the midst of the adventurers right in the middle of the healing campfire almost like a trick it was a sneak attack alright here we go adventures are ready to face the champion of the cult 
Caracas. That's his name. Caracas is a champion of the Colt. Or the Colt champion. Hold on. We have... Okay. We heard of Sir Baldwin, the fighter. And we have actually a healing cleric here. So how about that? We have a interesting complement of adventurers. Go ahead and curse Garakas. And burn him up with some good encounter powers. We got a couple of drakes, elite rage drakes. Are they elite or is their rage elite? What is what is what? All right, Garakas is almost down. We got about a tenth to go. There we go. He's done. That was quick. Let's thank the group for their valiant effort. And grab whatever remains on the ground. Look at that. We got a glowing chest. You know what that means. 2,441. Not much from there. Astro Diamond. Skeleton Key. Let's go to the Wondrous Bazaar and ask the lady that's always asking us. Do you have Astral Diamonds to trade? she's got a key for us I was asking for Astro Diamonds 1875 in this case that's our break-even point go ahead and open up 1830 I mean it's kind of there let's see if we get something else 3052 that was worth it except all right so what do we have at the end of this Warlocks Dungeons and Skirmishes I think we have 80,000 let's see let's go to our inventory we have 22,692 added to 62,459 is a total of 85,151 Astro Diamonds. If you ask me, that is a good day for the Warlock. All right. Maybe we'll come back later and do a um, few weeklies. Get 15,000 more. Get 100 for the day. Actually, why don't we just go ahead and do that right now. Let's get at least a couple of them. Let's see if we have Dread, uh, Dread Ring uh, Weekly out of the way. And that should be in the Dread Ring. Let's see. The Red Wizards, they might be up to no good. If they are, we're here to stop them. That's what we're here for as adventurers. To put the right to things that have been wronged. In this case, the Red Wizards might be doing some of that. Potions and other consumables can be attached to belt slots. Here we go. Let's go get... What we can from Sergeant Knox. He may have a quest waiting for us. If that's the case, we're about to pick it up. The Red yep. Wizards, it's true. We haven't done that for this week. Let's do it. We might as well. I think we're going to make 100,000 for the day with the Warlock. It may happen. And we're right here in the midst of it. All right, this Red Wizard doesn't know what's hitting them. Oh, and we're actually hitting the Iron... Golem. Iron Golem down. Somebody come pick him up. Thank him backstage. Prepare him for the next group of adventurers that might come this way. At this moment, we're going for another Red Wizard. Oh, already been taken care of over there. Let's go see if we can find a Red Wizard over here. Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and charge up our daily. And hit him. Oh, they... They blocked my encounter power, but we got the Red Wizard anyways. All right, Colin Pegasus for the assist. There. Pegasus always takes care of things for us, especially when we got a little mob like that. All right, 42 seconds to recharge our daily. We got one more Red Wizard we need to get for 4,778 Astro Diamonds. Let's see if we can get this one. All right, that Red Wizard is down. And our quest for Sergeant Knox is complete. Not hesitate anymore. We're ready to get those Astro du Diamonds for the day. Let's go. We're going to go ahead and face Big Rin momentarily on our quest for 100,000 Astro Diamonds for the day with the Warlock. Everything went so smoothly with the dungeon and the skirmish that we're happy finish up a few more Astro Diamonds for the day. All right, did we complete something here? Yes, Red Wizard is what we completed. Red Wizard, Sergeant Knox, 4,778 Astro Diamonds. 
We appreciate it, and we also completed Dread Ring support. We'll have to see the Master of the Coin we'll turn that in later on. Right now, we're on our way to face Bigrin. It's going to be a quick one. We're going to run right through all those enemies over here in Care Coning. Let's go pick up the quest from the quest giver. Mounts are fast ways to go at round zone. Check out the latest available mounts, Chanducal Stables and Protectors Enclave. All right. The next thing is to see if we can pick up from what's her name? She starts with an A. I hope you can remember. I can't remember right now. Skill nodes can be found in hidden places all over adventure zones. Provide consumables and professions resources. We're going to find out what her name is. We're about to go visit the quest giver so we can do Big Rin's Tomb. When you're defeated, you may gain an injury. Injury kits will patch you up and can be purchased at most consumable vendors. All right, here we go. Let's get on our mount. In this case, we're getting under our mount because the mount is wings from the dragons that we defeated. That's what we like to do here in Neverwinter as adventurers is defeat dragons who are... Oh, wait. I understand. Apparently, she's full up. Let's go ahead and try the other quest giver. Yes, sign me up. And Big Rin soon. Okay, we accept. Now let's head on over to Icewind Pass. Icewind Pass is the area where Big Ring's tomb can be found. Big Ring has been lonely this week and is waiting for a choice adventurer to come by and encounter him inside his tomb. Though the spell plague has ended, its effects still linger across Ferrum. Active pockets of spell plague persist and plague touch creatures roam the lands. That is a fact. The graveyard of the Neverwinter whole centuries and Neverwinter is dead. The clerics of Kelimvor try desperately to keep them at rest. Let's go by the heating campfire. It's not very crucial to do that at this moment because there will be another campfire inside the tomb. But normally you always want to go through every campfire because the campfires provide you plus one to every one of your ability scores for 15 minutes. There we go. We're somebody with a Tensor's disc. Very beautiful. Love those discs. We are heading over to Big Rin's tomb, avoiding some of these wolves that are in our way. And we're going to have to pass by two of large dragons. The totem's over there, but we're not doing that right now. We're passing these two large berserkers. Apparently, they're busy with somebody else. And we are squeaking by and entering the tomb, the tomb of Big Rin. Ice Spire Peak is high in the Sword Mountains. Legend has it a powerful ice giant named Lakar open up a portal or something like that. When Mount Hot New erupted, it destroyed most of Neverwinter. The southeast part of the city was swallowed up by a mysterious rift. Ah, take a breath. Now known as the Chasm. All right. I hope you're all having a good one. Uh, we are here kicking it in Neverwinter. Just enjoying it all up deep within North Northern Underdark. Place called the Whispering Caverns is what it was trying to say, I believe. And we are now sneaking around as a warlock. It's gonna go past everybody. That's what we're gonna do is charge up our Avenus Trinket. And they're gonna form up a line here, and we're just gonna go through the line like if they badly planned their football strategy. Right there. Got past it. Here's another line. Let's see if we can go through it. We did we got through Woo. now we have to face one lady by the door here see if we can get a lock on her and then Pegasus on her yeah we did took out a few other minions at the same time out of the way of that oh and the door opened so let's just get to it Woo. all right let's see if we can get past this skeletal dog right here graveyard hound Graveyard, very spooky. I guess it's appropriate for the October season. Let's just keep on moving. Oh, we're getting bit from behind by these two hounds that keep nipping at us. At our heels here, let's keep going. We're just gonna ignore everybody. Let them come afterwards as we face big rins. We don't mind that the mob comes after us. It'll take a while. Hopefully we we'll defeat big rin and even get to us. Then we'll have to take them down one by one because they won't let us get our treasure until we do. All right, here's the three whites. We're going to have to go ahead, take them out as strategically as possible. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a hawk on this one. And we're going to encounter a possible of these. If we 
get them both. Do we? Oh, we're already getting hit by behind from some of these hounds. There we go. Big Rin is coming. He's getting up out of his chair. He's saying, declaring, I am Big Rin. Uh oh, he's right behind us. Let's go ahead and curse him. He is cursed. Let's go ahead and do it a good encounter power here. And if that doesn't work, we'll send out Pegasus. Okay, we'll move back, send out Pegasus for the crowd. We got Big Rin already. Lots of critical happening here. Criticals are one of the mechanics in Dungeons and Dragons where your attacks get even more damaging because they become a critical. All right, here we go. Charge up our daily. Let's grab everything that's on the ground. We still have one skeletal dog there and a few rotters. They're called zombie rotters. They're still coming down from everything we aggroed. Okay. And we're complete with them, I think. Unless something else comes down from our top there. Let's grab everything on the ground. That's what we came here for. for riches. 27 Astro I mean 27 seconds so we can recharge our daily. We got 4,778 Astro Diamonds from this chest. And we have one more weekly that we could do. That is over JP benefits. Let's go to the summon the travel post. And it's gonna be over by Mantle Dareth, where Booner is there waiting to give out a quest for any willing adventurers and we're going to raise our hands for this to face Baphomet. Baphomet being our trusty uh, boss to test our companions with on one-on-one -on -one against the boss. Press the pad to switch between HUD status and your mission tracker. If you want to regenerate your health, you can use potions and stones of health, wait a while outside of combat, or join a party with a healer and hope that the healer sends over some healing your way. All right, here we go. Let's go visit Lunar Battle Hammer. I think what we're going to do, we're going to equip that sprite. Hey, that it's sprite. Rex Razor Nine. letting you Let's know that you're following our this Geeky Gamer happy. We want our 100,000 Astro Diamonds for the day. Where's Bruner? Right here under the bear. Can we talk to Bruner? Ballad of Baphomet? Why, yes, Bruner. Let's go ahead and do that and enter Maze Engine. To visit Baphomet, who's been waiting backstage very patiently for us to get here after completing the Red Wizard and Big Grin's Tomb. Companions are extremely valuable to an adventurer's success, and sometimes they are. Sometimes they are. If you are having trouble finding a certain window, try looking in the main menu. Menu. All right. It looks very scary here in this uh, area. If you're having trouble finding the main... Okay, if you are... If you are <laughs> if you grow more, <laughs> as you grow more powerful, you will unlock powers and feet. To change which powers you can use, go to the main menu and select the powers window. All right, what is going on? Why is this one maze engine taking so long? You may find dye bottles or packs in your travels. That's what it said. I'm just letting you know what it said. Here we go, Baphomet back here. Go ahead and rattle the cage here we can get in or drop our daily all right what we're we gonna do first we're gonna do this this throw the hawk at him and once he lands call Pegasus out on him do encounter power I'm gonna give him a big curse right now there you go We had a little group of minions there. Oh, we have the healer. She might heal him up. Hopefully not. Let's see if we can. She's cheating me. So I think we're going to keep Baphomet right now. We did. All right, so that's for every one of the two healers. That was. Not able to heal him up in time for us to defeat him. And that, my friend, is the tale that is the way the tale went, and he's not actually quite sure. But we're going to go ahead and pick up 
our Astro Diamonds. We're sure about that. 4,778. Uh-oh. What happened to our camera? Not sure how long that camera was out of order, but back in working order. Yes, it is. Adventures. Mounts are fast ways to get around the zone. Check out the latest available mounts at Sean Ducal Stables and Vector's Enclave. Skill those can be found in hidden places all over adventure zones. They provide consumables and professions resources. Oh, yes, they do. Alright, let's see. Did we get 100,000? It's going to be very hard for the cleric to beat this if we did. Let's grab the 4,778. And now check our tally for the Warlock for the day. Let's do a quick invocation. Inventory. Let's go over to Rough Astro Diamonds. We're adding 14,334 Astro Diamonds to 85,151. We're going to be just shy, just shy of 100,000. We got 99,485,000 thousand Astro Diamonds for today. Just shy of 100,000, but I'm quite happy with that. All right, adventurers, I hope you all are having a good one. We're going to queue up the Cleric uh, probably later on today. And, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. <laughs>